Alcohols can be used as a fuel in a spirit burner. The heat released upon combustion of an alcohol can be measured by a simple calorimetry experiment and used to calculate the enthalpy change of combustion of the fuel. To measure the enthalpy change of combustion, set up the equipment as shown here. So the first thing that we need to do is to measure 50 cubic centimetres of water into the measuring cylinder. It's important it has to be measured accurately because it needs to be repeatable and put the water into the copper calorimeter. We use copper because it conducts the heat really well and minimises any heat loss to the surroundings. You can see here the equipment set up so you've got a heat shield to prevent any of the heat being lost. Next thing to do is to take the spirit burner um, containing the alcohol and that needs to be weighed on a balance with the lid on. Weigh the spirit burner with the lid on and record the mass. Now it's important that um, you decide the height of the calorimeter so it's not too high above the spirit burner because you want any of the heat from here to go directly into the calorimeter and not lost into the surroundings. So you want it um, not very high above the burner. When you're ready to light it, then um, remove the lid and immediately light the burner. Now, importantly, the alcohol can be lost, so you must make sure that you light it as soon as you take the lid off. Now, you heat it until the temperature is increased by about 50 degrees. So if we've got a starting temperature of 20 degrees, we want to heat it until it gets to about 70 degrees. So what you can do to minimise the heat loss even more is to make sure that you've got a heat shield around all sides of the spirit burner. Like this, but do make sure that when you set it up it's not going to fall over and it's nice and secure. So now the temperature is increased by about 50 degrees, so I can stop heating. So in order to extinguish the spirit burner, you take the lid and then put it straight over the flame. You have to do it very quickly, so then it immediately excludes the oxygen, so then the flame goes out, and then re-weigh the spirit burner. Re-weigh the spirit burner with the lid on and record the mass. Record the exact change in the temperature of the water in the calorimeter. You can now calculate the moles of fuel burned and the energy change of the water. Calculate the enthalpy change of combustion. Repeat the experiment with four other alcohols. So it's useful to use four or more different alcohols so you can make a comparison between um, the size of the alcohol and the amount of energy that it contains. So here we have methanol, ethanol, butanol and propanol but you can use pentanol as well.